been specific to you. That's why you're using them. If I say the word brilliant, and you say the word brilliant, then again we're matching the words. Yeah. Um, uh, you don't. I mean, you don't have to say what. What well, you can say, oh, it's awesome. Yeah. But you're not matching the words, so you're not thinking about what people sound so much to repeat that. So how specific and terrific was it? I mean, they could use that tool, or you could say, you've got a terrific day. See what I'm doing there? I put a bit of tone on that. I didn't say, you've got a terrific day. I said, you've got a terrific, you know, with enthusiasm. So what I'm doing is I'm giving them, you know, the way you say things is very, very, very important. Them be on the phone, or you won't be able to because you'll be on the phone. However, I might, I might even give you a sign with the service and go out, take some flyers with you, speak to some people because it's good to develop your face to face communication as well. That's where the strength is when you're in front of someone, when you can look them in the eye and have a conversation with them. Because at the moment, we'll be doing it behind the phones, yeah. Uh, I mean, I do my work direct face to face. Um, Suppress feelings, suppress your feelings, okay? Uh, so, if, I mean, if someone says something that's upset you, then make sure that you don't, um, don't take it to, um, take, take it to heart. Even though you might want to answer the question straight away, you don't have to, you don't have to take it to heart straight away and say, well, this is, uh, yeah? I should be checking with you. However, if I feel that I need to be an excellent communicator, a masterful communicator, it's best for me to do the checking of understanding. I'll take responsibility. If I've asked you to do something uh, and, and you have not understood it, I had a kid with me, uh, Nat Crow, when I was working with him. And, uh, I said to this kid, I need to write all that down. He goes, yeah, no problem. I walked out of the room, came back in the room, only to find a man standing there with a blank piece of paper. This kid had attitude built. And I said, why haven't you done the work? And he turned around to me and said, you never gave me a pen? That's no excuse. Here's your pen doing the work. Yeah. Now, I'll take that situation and say, this is how, this is my way of communicating. My philosophy is, if I can't get, if I haven't got through to you, I'll take the blame, the sender. If you're going to adopt that policy, that just puts more responsibility on yourself to say that you must be clear. This person, if you've done the checking of understanding as the sender, there's no way this person can turn around later on and say, you didn't explain it to me. So, it's not okay, I'll take the rap for that. But it's okay when you want to go on a fat break. It's okay when you want to go running off with the lads on an early lunch. You ask them, it's okay when you want to finish early. You ask them when you want to finish a session early. And, um, but you know what? I'll take the rap for it. In future, they'll make me a better communicator. That's the way I look at it. Yeah? That's the way one should look at it. Alright, so check and understanding. Yeah, like picking the nose in the background or something, you know, so it's a little distracting. Two guys went out. £90,000 debt to be collected. And uh, there was some conflict between the two parties. So they met on the M25. 
um, sucked out. They had so small apples, what call it? Coffee, we had tea and coffee. But we had lactose and milk. Tea, coffee, lactose and milk, and we had to go to the freezer. But we had to forget the first decision.